Oh, I uh, just messed up. <laughs> oh, let me get to the light. Well, I'm not tripping anymore, guys. <laughs> but life is still exquisite, beautiful. There's the light. Um, I'm going to like a little train station place. Hopefully you guys can check it out. I'm liking this little park close by. Pretty super cool. Pretty nice, pretty peaceful. Bunch of little, little trees. I think I've never really seen anyone over here before. But it's really nice. Uh, I live in the Round Rock, Austin area. Hope I can show you guys around. It's fucking, you know, really cool. Yeah. I went to go work out and <laughs> I feel so sore, but it's good, you know, healing, right? Healing my body. I didn't really like how I treated my body at the temple. It was very um, disgusting, not worthy. It kept telling me that in the trip also. It was like, it told me to do this in the trip. It told me to start a vlog. It told me to start this. It said, what's up in the future? Hopefully I can get a community out of this. <laughs> yeah, sell photos, take photos of you guys. Be amazing. Working on it. Yeah, I'm going to college for that. To get a certificate in artistic photography. Can't wait, you know, like it's gonna be great, you know. Alright, we're almost there. Here, I'll show you a little glimpse. Pretty dope. <laughs> All right, guys. So I guess yeah, this will be an ongoing thing. No, it's my chest that really hurts. I felt like my chest was about to rip out of my body or my heart. It's, it's probably like it hasn't moved a lot. I've always like sat at home. I mean, at least I was just like going over a bunch of philosophy and wisdom that all these people have in the past but now I get to integrate all of this wisdom into my life it's, it's, it's making like a great impact like everyone I see is wise like they all have they're all like the guru that everyone's like so wise that if I just let them be who they want to be and I see the information they can give me and like it's so beautiful I mourn for the people who are so disconnected or how hard they think they have life. Life is so beautiful. It really is. Well, I'm almost there. I'm pretty sure there's like, like a chain link fence right here, which I'll most likely jump and check out. I got work in a little second. I work at Pizza Hut. Hashtag Pizza Nut, just trying to make a buck. Yeah. And I felt so isolated at Pizza Hut. Like, I just thought that they were like, wasting their lives over there, like the adults, but they have very, they're very, they have something I want. They have discipline. I, and they, the discipline they have is so beautiful. Like, if I can put that discipline into my life with this journey, it'd be great. Like, it really would. It is hot. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the environment is you. To trust the environment like you trust your heartbeat. It's such a beautiful thing. Well, chain link fence. Uh, well, I'm gonna jump it. Flying away. Huh? A meditation that I just heard that Ram Dass said was to lay down where you see the sky. Hopefully, look when this is like a good calm, right? And you lay down, you look at the sky, you look at the clouds moving, the ex like how how expansive the the sky is, right? And you see the the birds moving, and the clouds moving, and you recognize yourself as it. You make your awareness like the sky. You expand your awareness 
to where it's like the sky is awareness and where you become one and your the quietness inside you have yourself expands outward and you feel like it all it's a good meditation tip but I listen, when I meditate I usually meditate at night I'm trying to <laughs> implicate uh, morning meditation I usually listen to binaural beats and just meditate for a good 30 minutes or something like that very peaceful use it to sleep I do it at night and it's just it's nice it's very it brings serenity in my life very 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 important it's good yeah right now I'm just trying to implicate just letting people be who they are be honest and loving with people it's it's amazing what you see like if anyone knows numerology when I went to Pizza Hut and I was just being myself this guy called in and he was like trying to find if he put the right house number or the apartment number and when he told me the apartment number it was 333 and then I checked the apartment number he put and it was 333 and I was like angels is talking to me and like the day before I took the 10 a 10 tap trip this guy he was like life he was like the most happiest joyful person I've ever seen in my life he was just so joyful and he, I don't even think he practiced any of this he was just he's like life is so beautiful there's nothing he's like as long as you're <laughs> he said as long as you're not on the ground there's nothing to worry about and I was like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I'm in the ground, that's a transformation where my soul just... But anywho, and like, I, it gave me this peace, like, the, someone was looking out for me. Or myself was looking out for myself when I tripped, and like, it was beautiful. Usually, when I, when I tripped, I was like, I just t saying to myself, You are every single projection, you are every single hallucination you see. And like... That just made the trip so much better. And like the guru or God or consciousness was talking to me and showing me all these beautiful things and all this wisdom. And the, it was like so much synchronicity. And when I got out of the trip in the morning, it was beautiful. That's when I started recording for you guys. And straight wisdom really is. Anywho guys, I put my skateboard somewhere around here because I didn't want to carry it around grass if I can find it <laughs> see <laughs> there you guys so life is a mystery <laughs> a mirror of confusion wow life is very beautiful I believe it is somewhere over here. I put it next to this little like, birdhouse. Oh, I already see it. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da.